What's up, guys? It is your girl, Bonnie Banks. I'm here with Streets945. I am sitting in with Tony Tiente from Atlanta United. Wow, congratulations, because I know you came from Paris. Exactly. To Atlanta. Yes. How was that transition? Uh, pretty difficult, but, you know, come to America, the culture is very different and mm -hmm. people are very open, so... You get comfortable, you go to college, you meet people from different backgrounds. So right. I think you had that pretty quick. So what was the biggest culture shock when you came to Atlanta? <laughs> English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so is English your, technically your second language probably? Yeah. Right okay, now, yeah. when did you learn English? When I was here. <laughs> Why? Yeah. How long have you been here? Uh, five years. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, it's not too bad. It's not it's bad not now. Bad. I yeah. think I'm better. I'm doing better now. Okay, wow. Yeah. All right, so... French is your first then? Yes. Yes, and then English. Wow. So how has it been just adjusting to the culture in terms of even like relationships with friends or women? I think it's getting, it's pretty easy because, uh, you know, I'm in the sport world, so I'm very yeah. social. I talk to people a lot. You know, I'm around yeah. people a lot, so kind of have an open mind and be able to talk to people, get to know people. So I think I got very comfortable, you know, yeah. the social world and the culture and stuff. Yeah. How long have you been with the Atlanta United? Uh, that's my second year. Okay, so nice. it's been, yeah, a year and a half. Well, yeah. how do you feel about all the support that you guys have garnered here in Atlanta? Because, you know, we didn't have a soccer <laughs> team at first. Yeah, <laughs> no, I think it's, it's pretty good, pretty great from where I come from, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, I love the background. I'm coming from far, you know, Lobby, you know, and uh, just getting players from the city, from Atlanta, mm -hmm. play for Atlanta United. I think it's something very great, you know, inspire people, inspire the young kids. So, yeah. so how did they recruit you? So, just playing the UPSL, mm -hmm. you know, playing the UPSL at KSA, Kawanji Soccer Academy. And then uh, I had the chance to play against them, the mm -hmm. youth team, multiple times. And then uh, the opportunity just came that they were looking for a player, you know, from the city, from Atlanta, and uh, to come and get get the help and get the team better and yeah. stuff like that, you know. And uh, lucky I was that player, so okay. <laughs> I went on tryout, and they liked me, and then uh, that's how I ended up there. Wow. Okay. Yeah. What a story. <laughs> yes. That's very interesting. All right. Mm. So for the listeners, viewers that don't know you, I'm going to do some mm. quick icebreaker questions. Okay. okay. Nothing Go crazy. Ahead. Go ahead. All right. What is your favorite cereal? Ooh, <laughs> that's a good, I would say, uh, I love cereal, but I was, I don't know. That's, <laughs> that's, a, that's, tough that's a tough one. Cause <laughs> I, 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 I'm eating all of them, you know, <laughs> I love cereal, so I'm not co I'm not complicated okay. with cereal. What is the situation with men and like cereal? Like they I, have I, dinner I, I, and then I, have cereal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that's um, that's that's my weakness. There, yeah. Every okay. night before. What's the go-to? You gotta pick one. I've only got three. I've got. I would say. I would say. Crunch. Yeah. I've got uh, Fruit Loops and Fruity Pebbles. I would say Frosted Flakes. Frosted Flakes? Yeah, I, I would say, it. yeah. I think, I think that's, that's, yeah. Frosted Flakes. Go to, yeah. Okay, going to the OG. I yeah, no, that's, I mean, it's simple, it's nice. Right. And, no, uh, okay. no surprise. Are you pouring yeah. the milk first or second? <laughs> Come on. That, <laughs> that's, I'm going to mix second, cereal first. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you can put more cereal when you put the cereal first. I'm one of those that does the milk first and then the cereal. <laughs> 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 That, okay. That's the debate I used to have when I was young. But mm, all right, okay. So who's on your playlist right now? Twenty One Savage, hmm. Money Back Yo, hmm. The Baby, Little Baby, uh, a lot of French rappers too. Okay, name a French rapper. Uh, SDM. Okay. I have uh, Chakola in my playlist. Uh, I have Booba. He's OG, but still listen to him. Mm. Uh, mm. What is the music culture like? in Paris because are they similar to kind of how we are or is it very different is it reggae is it you know what's it's, the other sound it's, it's very different because uh, in France it's like most of the rappers they have African background yes I was you just know, about they, to say most okay. of them come from Africa from Congo mm -hmm. from Cameroon from Senegal you know so they bring like a little African vibe but mm. still rapping you know? so it's, okay. it's, it's a lot of different it's very creative you know so you, like you have kind of everything you know mixing there 
Okay, I like that. We gotta bring some of that. Yeah, I got, I got you. I got you. Okay, some good hate. Tap me in. You <laughs> For tap sure. Me in. I love that. Okay, mm. last one. So, mm. are you single or are you in a relationship? I'm single. Okay, you're single. So you're What's out in these streets. You're outside. Oh, I'm just, I'm <laughs> just here. That's what I guess. <laughs> I'm here. How do you feel like the dating scene has been for you though in Atlanta? Is there one for you, or has it just kind of been like? Mm? Now, I, I had the previous relationship, you know, for two years when I got to really? the U.S., yeah. Okay. But uh, right now, I'm just chilling. You're just uh, hanging I just out. focus on myself and fo- yes. playing the game, you know. But right. if something come, I won't say no. Okay, okay so he's open to dating. I'm open. If, it, <laughs> if God give me something, I will, you know, refuse. Okay, I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay, so you are playing now for Atlanta United. Yes. Um, Tell us what has been the most challenging thing adjusting to Atlanta United. Mm, just I think adjusting to the pro world, you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's a lot of details. You know, it's, it's very like perfection. I would say. Mm-hmm. So if they say uh, meeting IDM, gotta be here five minutes, ten minutes before. You know, mm-hmm. and uh, just be a, like wake up every morning, practice every morning. That's really your job. You know, yeah. you do everything. They do everything to make sure you perform the right way. You know, you mm-hmm. at your max and stuff. So just I think the conditions are perfect for mm-hmm. me. It's just it was just getting used to. You know. Be there early every morning, just train, spend, get to used to spend the whole day there, and have everything I need there. Wow! But uh, it's pretty okay. easy to to adapt. I think. So, if there was a student out there or mm-hmm. an aspiring soccer player, what would you tell them? What advice would you give them? So I would say never give up. It sounds pretty like stereotype, I would say, but I think it's the truth. You know, mm-hmm. everybody got the time. You just don't look at what people do. Or just mm-hmm. focus on yourself. It don't matter what people think. Or, what people want for you right. it's about what you want you know mm-hmm. so to just believe in yourself and go for whatever you want how hard is soccer on your body Poof. <laughs> you know i've played soccer before and i'm not good at it you play um no i have really bad like feet coordination so uh-huh. it's just i'm not good at soccer but i've gotten <laughs> need in the knee before mm-hmm. and that is just the worst feeling ever yeah it's it's it's, it's just sport contact you know so mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of bumping there's a lot of tackle there's a lot of head to head so it's yeah. a lot of everything you know so I think it's pretty hard I think taking care of your body is really like what's gonna help you mm-hmm. for, for the long run what's the conditioning run. like cause you guys are always running yeah, you, you gotta be fit yeah and trust me you have to be able to run no matter <laughs> but running is not an option you mm. got to be able that's the first thing okay so that's why i didn't play soccer guys <laughs> <laughs> that's the answer to all of the questions yeah. i love it mm. i love it so what else do you do outside of soccer that people may not know about you <sighs> soccer is just life <laughs> it's my life okay. but behind the scene there's a life too so mm. yeah like you know spend time with my friend you know out watch a lot of show i watch okay. anime a lot people don't know they still i'm, I'm a grown man but i watch anime but still whatever you know? okay which is yeah. your favorite anime one piece one piece i one do piece, like one piece yeah one I piece my it. favorite now so i watch anime I spend time with my friends uh and one thing i love to is coaching you know really yeah i coach young kids and stuff okay. so that's nice. that's my that's where i spend you know my other mm-hmm. energy and stuff so when i'm not playing i'm, I'm coaching so kids. is that what you want to do if you transition out of soccer or what would you do I mean, Can't coaching came as me, not as really like a passion or anything or something I wanted to do, but mm-hmm. it came at me because I feel like I'm a leader and uh, I just want to inspire people, and inspire yeah. the kids. So it came up to me like, okay, that's a way for me to use my voice, use my knowledge, mm-hmm. my little experience, you know, to share with the kids and help them. And I feel like now I really enjoy it, you know, so. Yes. I love it. Mm-hmm. So is your family back home? Yeah. So I have my family back in Cameroon and my family and friends too. Nice. Yeah, so I have kind of like a split family, but mm. I have nobody here. Blood, blood related. <laughs> I, I have nobody say, so here. How is the support system? Do they get to see you? Yeah, they, they get to see, they okay. get to watch the game. Mm-hmm. They're, they're on the phone with me most of the good. time every day. So it's cool. I mean, it's fine. Oh, okay, good. So you have to create like an Atlanta family kind of. I have my line of family, which is uh, Atlanta United now, mm-hmm. and it's also Kiersey. I love family. it. My family, yeah. Okay, last question. Yep. Yeah. If you weren't a soccer player, mm. what would you be doing? <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know. You don't know. I'll be honest, wow. I don't know, because I never thought about something else than playing. How long game. have you been playing soccer? 
since I was a kid. Okay. Like, like seven, eight years old. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really ever thought about anything else, you know. But uh, I think anything social, yeah. probably anything social, helping the community and building people and inspire people. I think that's, working with people, I think in general, especially with kids, you know, mm-hmm. I think that's something I'll be good at. You know? Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So you might have turned out to be some sort of coach, but you're not sure which one. I'm not sure, I'm not sure exactly, yeah. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Well, Tony, thank you so much for joining us here at Streets 945. Mm-hmm. We really got some insight in to what's going on in your life. And of course, Atlanta United, what is your expectations for the season this year? For win the playoff, win the whole thing. Mm, you guys gonna come home with the cup again? Uh, yeah, we're gonna try. We're gonna try. I mean, just put in the work and then we we'll see what we get. All right, we'd love to see it. We're excited. Mm-hmm. Atlanta is excited and wishing you off very well. Again, it's your girl Bonnie Banks. It's Streets Nine Four Five. I had Tony Tiente in the building. You guys make sure you check him out. I went on your social media. It doesn't seem like your big social media. I'm person. not too active, <laughs> but my Instagram is T T I E N T E Five Five. Perfect. You guys, make sure you go follow him. You can follow me at T-H-E-E, The Bonnie Banks. You guys can catch all of our interviews on Streets at Streets 945 ATL.